What's up, good people? Welcome to SPM Buzz. My name is Sheko. We are coming to you from Prestige Plaza, and this is the premiere of Two Asanda. And with us is a lead actor. I'm going to give him this chance to introduce himself to you guys. Karibu sana. Hi, uh, my name is Bruce Macau. Uh, I play the lead in uh, Two Asanda. Uh, very fortunate and uh, I got to watch the film yesterday and I have to say it's uh, it's it's amazing I'm impressed like yeah I am impressed and I love it yeah how was the experience maybe the whole process shooting it so we shot this film last year yes uh, it's uh, it's taken um, a year and um, it's the experience has been it was very intense the film is quite intense and um, the journey was intense as well getting into character and um, and, and every scene and every journey and all, the whole journey was was really intense and heavy and I loved it and uh, to watch it because uh, I got to watch it yesterday um, I'm grateful for it you can actually I can actually see the sort of the pain that we put in <laughs> yeah talking so. about the pain but we'll get on the challenge later yeah. uh, your best highlight probably of the whole process until where we are today I think the whole the whole thing was a was a great highlight for me. To be honest, um, I, I got to do what some, uh, something that I really love doing, and that's um, acting in a drama, and it's a drama thriller, so that's a plus. So for me, um, I think getting into character and, and being that person and experiencing the, the joy and the pain of it, um, that, that, was, that was really my highlight. Obviously, we shot for like three weeks, but um, yeah, it was a very good, very good time. You mentioned that, that um, watching yourself or watching the movie yesterday, the pain was worth it. Uh, maybe two or more challenges that you guys change, uh, faced during the whole process? Um, I, I wouldn't say challenges. I would say like it's uh, sort of normal um, experiences that you get um, on set. Um, number one, we shot in Tigoni, one of the locations that we had, and it was really cold. There was a scene that we shot, and then it's, I think it started to drizzle. And then we had to now like stop whatever we were doing, come back another day, look at the weather forecast. Uh, we pushed that for like a week. Then we came back to the same, same, same cold of Tigoni. And man, you can see a bit of sun, but trust me, the weather was yeah, it, it was really, um, it was really cold. But um, again, the performances uh, that um, the actors really gave and everybody. Obviously, everybody um, and the crew and everything, um, we braved through that. Yeah, and um, yeah, I, I loved what I saw. So, generally, maybe what uh, can you say about the film industry in our country right now? Um, the film industry is in need of, um, honestly, funding. I think um, this is a good example of that because this uh, funding did come from. Um, the government uh, through KSC and um, other uh, parties involved. So there is so much we can do with uh, with funding, and um, there are so many talented people, both as crew members, cast members. Like there's so many talented people, and um, there are so many stories that we need to explore. So if we can't get funding, obviously domestically um, would be ideal, uh, but even internationally, um, that would help us move the industry further yeah so far so good do you feel um, like the government is giving enough uh, support to this specific industry um, so far I feel like there's still there's more to be done like a whole lot more we barely scratch the surface mm -hmm. with this yeah so there's there's a lot that is needed yeah a message to someone out there watching you right now and of course i'm very sure they're going to watch uh the movie get inspired and things like that what will you tell someone who's planning to uh join the same industry in future maybe even next year or in future general i would tell them there's uh, room for everyone um we need your creativity we need you as an individual everybody uh, brings in something, something different. Um, I believe if somebody else played this part, they would have played it, they would have given it a very different uh, look to it and feel and whatever. So um, everybody is welcome. Um, I'd say come in um, to grind. It's, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of uh, work and um, 
and it's hopefully something that you love and hopefully something that you will bring a lot of contribution just from you as a person. Yeah, don't come expecting to be handed, you know, things over, but come expecting to put in the work. Yeah. With that said, it reminds me, uh, like a week or two ago, uh, we've seen Wanjiko Stephen post something on Instagram. She said, um, Siku moja ataongea about the industry because she says our times will get into this uh, this industry and uh, payment is always a tussle. Looking for um, you, the people you're working for, like it's always a hard thing, a hard uh, time getting payment. Getting? Payment. It's a um it's a very difficult industry, I'll be honest with you. Um, you're talking about, I, I don't know who Wanjiko is. Um, yeah, so it's a very difficult industry. And, and I'd say, come in knowing that. And uh, obviously with time, you will see that. Um, in terms of uh, payment, uh, this, when, I'll say this, when we come in, we come in as artists. And the whole, it's showbiz. The whole business bit of it, we are not, we're not really trained in. We're not really trained in to uh, seek um, to lawyer up. We're not really, you know, those are not things that we are familiar. And especially when you're coming in, uh, it's it's really hard. And there are obviously some people who will take advantage of that. So uh, I'd say this is a job um, like any other, and it is not as probably as regulated and uh, you need to look out for yourself you need to put in measures to ensure that if i'm getting into this contract um, who am i getting into the contract with um, what has been basically like due diligence like i want to work with you um, what are your references um, have you been paying people or are you just you know yeah so it's again it's a lot of work yeah Thank you so much, uh, Bruce, for your time and wish you all the best. All right, thank you so much. Hope you enjoy the show. What's up, good people? Welcome to SPM Buzz. You're coming to you from the Prestige Plaza. This is the premiere of Second to Asanda, sorry. And we are right here with a script writer. Please tell us your name. Uh, my name is Charles Chanchori. Uh -huh. I'm a writer. I wrote to Asanda. I have written a whole bunch of books as well. Yeah, so that's what I do. You can mention uh, the books that you've written. I think. Oh wow! Um, I have written Old Money. It's been published by Oxford. You know they sell it in schools. I have written um, six novels and three novellas. Yeah, all of which are available at Nuria Bookstore. Yeah, so just Google Nuria Bookstore. Each and every one of my work is stocked there. Yeah. So we are here for To Ascender, a movie that you wrote. Yeah. Did you do it all alone? You had someone that was um, maybe helping you write the whole script? I mean, nobody do ever does anything alone in a movie, right? Um, it was a whole lot of teamwork. It was a whole lot of discussion. You know, Akina Faki, Betty, and I, sometimes other people as well will just... I think we wrote this script over the course of a year. You know, mostly just discussing things, seeing what works and what doesn't. So even when I went to, I mean, I wrote it alone, but I really didn't because I was really guided by, by them and all of that throughout the whole process. Yeah. When was this maybe? I think we first met sometime in 2021 or 2020. I can't remember exactly. Um, and then they gave me the idea because they had the whole, um, the whole idea of it. And first of all, I think even before I loved the idea, I loved them because I think it's very important for me to love the people that I'm going to work with, you know? We established that chemistry before I even find out what the story is. So yeah, there was that and then now they told me the story and then I just was head over heels in it. It's a thriller, I love thrillers. You know, it's not a safe movie, you know, it pushes boundaries, you know, and they gave me that and I was like, yes, this is what I want, you know? Yeah, and then we just, everything, everything flowed from there, yeah. You highlight. Sorry? You highlight. Oh. The whole uh, writing, the producing and things. 
to watching. Watching. Yeah. The watching, the watching was a highlight. The watching was definitely a highlight. Oh god, it's I cannot tell you what it feels like for a writer to see his work on the big screen. This is my second movie in the theater. Ah, and I just got so overwhelmed. I don't think it's something that you can get used to, you know? Yeah, so that's the thing about it. The other highlight though was as a writer you you always write the story in your head yeah. before you you begin writing it in a, you know narrowing it down to the script mm -hmm. and so in your head it's big every moment is important yeah. you know it's i can't even it's like you are you are god and you are creating this world uh -huh. right you know before you can even narrow it down to something tangible yeah. ah so that and then now the process of writing it I don't know. I don't know. Just the, the ideas and the, and seeing them come to life, mind blowing, mind blowing. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Good work, and we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right.